I know you'll love snowman DIYs just like I do, so I'm bringing you three today. They are all super easy, so let's get started and create something fun. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. We are starting off super easy and you can adapt this DIY to a lot of different styles. You'll see what I mean in a second, but take three wood blocks or cubes. I got mine from Dollar Tree. I painted mine white, but like I said, you could do this a lot of different ways. Maybe stain them or paint them a color to match your decor. And I kind of thought it'd be fun to do like a pastel pink or maybe a pastel blue and white snowman scene. And maybe I'll try that next time. Oh, uh, and we, as you notice, we do have company for this part, but I'm using some folk art paint and I know I've said this before, but this particular container is always thicker than the others. It's like pudding. And so I have to add water so it goes on better and I just paint all the sides. To make the hat, I just cut a rectangle out of some flannel material and I hot glued down one long edge to make a seam. And then for the body of the snowman, I hot glued two of the cubes together and I pressed them together. And I also made sure that the cubes will stand straight by making sure that they are even all the way around. To finish the hat, I take the piece of fabric that I just glued one side of already and I glued that to the front of the snowman and then I glued all the way around the head until it basically made a circle and I did the next steps reverse so instead of tying it up like I did I used a piece of twine to do that but what I should have done was cut the fabric to make it like fringe and then tied it together and you're probably saying well Lisa <laughs> why don't you just untie it but I didn't think about that when I was doing it so I did it the harder way so learn from my mistakes and cut the fringe first and then tie it I mean, it turns out it looks cute, but it just could have been easier to make. And take some hot glue and add the head to the body. And again, just make sure that it's on there evenly so it will stand up okay. And for the face, I suggest adding on the nose first. And I did mine with an orange paint pen. And then with a black paint pen, I added on the eyes, mouth, and buttons on his belly. And this is how it turned out. I think he's super cute and I'm calling him a he, it could be a she, but I think the snowman turned out super cute and super easy to make. And it looks great on a tear tray because it adds some like height to your tear tray. Hey y'all, I am just popping in to remind you that um, I have a Facebook crafting group. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. The link is gonna be in the description box below and I hope you join it. Remember in my other snowman video, I use this template. Well, I'm using it again today to make another snowman out of cardboard. Just trace around the shape and cut it out. It's easy peasy and the cardboard is free. And you can use a cereal box, foam board, or even poster board if you don't have cardboard on hand. I had this Dollar Tree mop head in my stash and I haven't seen it in my store for a while, but if you don't have this, you could use white jute rope or even the brown jute rope for a more rustic look and then take a piece of whatever you're working with and run a bead of glue and then lay down the strand. And I made sure that the strand hangs over the edge of the cardboard because I'm gonna go back in later and trim it up. And you're gonna cover both pieces of the cardboard this way. And once you've done that, go back with some sharp scissors and trim close to the edge of the cardboard, but don't trim right next to it. Give yourself just a little bit of wiggle room on this. It just seems to work out better when you do. And this mop head strands, they tend to want to unravel, kind of like that white nautical rope does. So that's why I say to give it a little bit of wiggle room so you can adjust it and add hot glue as needed later. And of course you do it for both pieces. To attach the pieces together, run a bead of hot glue and then push them together. And because the cardboard is not necessarily the sturdiest, I did add two wooden pieces to stabilize it. And you can use craft sticks or another piece of cardboard or something like that. And I cut out the hat shape from some felt that had a sticky back and I removed part of it, I removed part of it and then added some hot glue and then pressed down the snowman on top of it. And I was gonna add a scarf and possibly the nose, eyes, and mouth, but I think it looks pretty cool, just plain and rustic like this. And I thought you could add this to the center of a wreath, or you could add it kind of like behind a tear tray to give it some additional depth behind the tear tray. 
Hey y'all, if you're enjoying this video, and I hope you are, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. It's a free way to support me and my channel, and it helps YouTube to notice me just a little bit more. So that's it. Okay, back to the video. For DIY number three, I stained the front and back of this palette wood circle with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I just wiped it on and wiped it off with a damp scrap piece of cloth. I started painting the head of the snowman with some white chalk paint and I made more of an oval shape versus a circle. And for the body, I was going to paint it as one piece, but I had already kind of sketched out where the scarf was going to go, so I just painted the other parts of the lower body. And I'm painting the scarf red, but of course you can make it any color you want. And I just kind of feel in what I sketched out earlier. And I'm using Crimson from Waverly. And I often, uh, then, <laughs> I used paint to black paint to paint on the hat, and you can make this multi-dimensional and add some felt for the hat if you want. And it's time to add dimension to the sign. And y'all know I'm not the best at painting, but I'm trying to experiment and just using different colors to add highlights and shadows. And I've used, I'm using some gray here to add some highlights on the hat, making it look like there are folds in the scarf. And I go back with more red paint, and then I try some white paint and mixing the colors. You know, I'm just trying to create the effect that it's not just flat paint. You know what I mean? And I feel like by the time I was done, I had like a billion layers, but I think it still turned out pretty cute for me being a beginner painter. And um, yeah, and you don't even have to do this step honestly, but it turns out cute. So this is how it turned out. I hung it in the middle of my grapevine wreath from Hobby Lobby that I added some Christmas greenery to that I also got from Hobby Lobby. And I want to say this is really easy to make and you don't have to add the shadows or anything like that. It would still look super cute. And I did add the word hi that I cut out using my Cricut, but you could hand letter that on or use letter stickers. And I also added a bow with a little bit of greenery and I wanted the bow to be more off center, but I don't think it quite got where I wanted it, but it's really easy to make and would make a nice gift. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate it. And um, please tell me which one is your favorite. If you tried any variations of this, let me know as well. And I hope you're having an awesome day. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. But don't forget, if you wanna follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok or something like that, my handle is Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.